Hey, it's Lauren. This is an excerpt from the full length episode. To listen to the entire episode, head to the show notes and follow the link. This episode has been brought to you by the Afterlight Institute. Ignite the light, magic, and miracles within. So like we have our own vibrations. The difference is that ours are always fluctuating based off of what's around. So like, you know, like you walk into a room after somebody just had an argument, like you, you, even if they don't say anything, you know, something just went down or like, you know, you walk into a room and you, it's a surprise party or something like you, you feel it, you know, there's something you feel it. And then you can like, you know, be a bunch of, like one friend could start laughing and then all of a sudden everybody's laughing so hard that their, you know, stomachs hurt. And I feel like vibration, like this, this energy is very contagious, right? So similarly, crystals have certain vibrational or energy signatures to them, depending on, you know, the color and the type of crystal, depending on like how it was, the you know, the scientific part, <laughs> how it was actually made. And so, I guess, um, so how, how that works is that just like a friend who's cracking up over here and laughing so hard that they're snorting that makes you start laughing, there are certain crystals that it's because your friend is in your energy field, right? You're interacting with that friend. Your crystals can do more or less the same thing, just specific to whatever their energy is. So um, I love selenite and I think that in selenite is actually one of like the most affordable crystals you can get, which is amazing, but they call it liquid light because it's all about like helping to cleanse and clear and like raise your vibration up. And like often, even when I um, do healing sessions, I will use selenite to like seal someone's aura or to like move around energy if I need to. Um, so yes, I think, I definitely think they work as for my go-to crystals, the ones I work with the most, um, definitely selenite. I love black tourmaline. So I call black tourmaline my vacuum cleaner. So like, that's the one that I feel like sucks up stuff, (laughs) like anything, like if you have, you know, like any sort of heavy emotion, you just put some black tourmaline there, um, black obsidian. I got some from Mexico that I'm like obsessed with. Um, but I, I use those two for similar purposes. So like if say like have an argument with someone or I'm like really pissed off, I will go sit with some black tourmaline or some black obsidian right on my root chakra and I will lay there. And then I guarantee you 10 minutes later, it'll be like, what fight? <laughs> it's nuts um I'm a huge (laughs) I'm a huge fan of um of malachite I think that it's a super powerful stone they call it the ultimate heart healer so I always recommend it to people if they're going through like any sort of like heart related things so like you know like a breakup or like relationship issues like it doesn't have to be romantic romantic or not um, I love malachite for that rose quartz for just like self-love, um, you know, just pulling more self-love into your life. Um, I love pyrite for as an abundance crystal. Um, I think it's also great for self-confidence. So, I mean, it's a solar plexus crystal, so it's all about willpower. So like I will sometimes like place that right on my chest or I'll make a grid out of it. Like I had a, um, a uh, pyrite clear quartz and black tourmaline grid up for a while because I was working with um, trying to release any sort of blocks to abundance and that grid was amazing so the black tourmaline took out the blocks and then the pyrite pulled on the but pulled in the abundance Um, I can go on and on I'm obsessed with amethyst (laughs) it's great for sleep for helping you to sleep it's also a third eye crystal so like if you're really working on your intuition you can place that bad boy right on your third eye and you know just use it to while you lie down just to like meditate and you might even start feeling your like third eye twitching a little bit I was meditating this morning with um some angel eye and my like third eye started twitching really crazy and then the crystal fell off and I was like okay (laughs) 